Menop. Ozzy. Hi, how are you guys doing? I hope you've had a fantastic day. I hope you're sanitizing, washing your hands and staying healthy during this quarantine period. Welcome to Entertainment Thursday right here on YTF4 TV. My name is Philine and you already know what the show is all about. Ni Udaku. Yes, we're talking about trending topics right here in Kenya and internationally. What have our celebrities been up to? I'm talking about our Kenyan artists as well as international artists as well. Welcome to the show. The hashtag is why two faithful updates you can of course talk to me at philian jean on all socials and of course at y254 channel as well and of course kamakawa kamakawaida i don't do the show alone we have our panelists usually they're in studio but we have to you know we don't preach water and atuna kunya wine <laughs> we're telling you guys to social distance so we're doing that in studio as well so we just have dennis right here but we have have the other guys at home they're going to be joining us virtually but first things first let's say hello to our very own mwangis aka deno <laughs> i'm a, just introduce yourself <laughs> i go by the name dennis bob minor i'm a the mwangis go to daku to jibanga let's have fun and we do this every single time let me go to pepe teatro what does someone go to pepe teatro and then we see how it goes so stay tuned <laughs> see you in bali i know you seeing this yeah <laughs> all right all right now, without wasting any more time let's go over to our first story now content producer and comedian Mlamwa earlier this week quit the industry due to cyberbullying. the comedian posted a video showing him ban his identity shot followed by an emotional message where he revealed that he had lost his unborn baby due to trolls celebrities took to the comment section convincing him not to give into trolls and that he should stand his ground and as they say there's always a light at the end of the tunnel kfcb boss ezekiel mtua offered to help mlamua through a post on social media mtua asked mlamua to reach out to him so that he can mentor and make him an ambassador of clean content and i'm gonna uh, quote this is what he said i hear that the twitter i hear that twitter is driving mlamua out of comedy and into depression bro pick yourself up and give me a call i will buy you a new shirt mentor you and make you an ambassador of clean content now the best way of dealing with cyber bullies is to refuse to give up and of course that's what ezekiel mature said but i want to hear from dennis like i don't know what is going on <laughs> You know, Mulamo, um, I, I kind of feel for him that he had to go through the trolls, the cyberbullying and everything else. But um, I, I also feel he should have done it better. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's just talk, uh, talk sense. Sign on Yambia that you're quitting comedy, so you burn your courts, do you find any... The best way to leave the industry is silently. Mm -hmm. If you want to leave, just leave silently. Sorry for what happened to your family and everything else, but leave silently. Now, once you start doing what you're doing, Mulamoa, unaanza kufanya vitu zaito kiki. If you know what kiki means, that is what you're doing. Please stop doing kiki. If you're very serious with what you're going through, just leave the scene completely. We'll support you and we'll look for you once tutasayo tutanza kuliza na Mulamoa lienda wapi. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So he he kama ni kutoka angeambia wase. Atoke tu aende acha kusumbuana. Wow. Hii story za kiki wacha. All right. You pull off a very serious stunt and then you ban your coat on social media. So tufanye. Sim you 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 Sorry should feel cry. bad we you should bad feel bad for trolling him he lost his baby what I'm, are you talking I'm about very sorry about that part yeah but he's you know uh, you saw what kamene said mm -hmm. kamene said he's also a troller himself so he's a bully he's too a bully, but no but when it comes to like losing a loved one mm -hmm. i think that's where you draw the line yes. you're not supposed to like troll someone after they've just lost their baby i think that's like where people like just uh, like uh, they went overboard they shouldn't have done that according to me uh, but guess what we have the other guys at home they are working from home <laughs> new to mezoya they're not new to the show let's go ahead and meet them we're gonna start with the very own mck and jc the two of them that's who i'm talking about let's go ahead and uh, let them say hello mck jc what's up Alright. 
Alright, so JC and MCK, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Alright, so I don't know. Um, maybe I'm gonna go to the next story and then I'm gonna be hearing from them. I don't know, my director, Timo, what's happening? All right, so, so I'm just going to go to the next story, and then they're going to be joining us on the next story. Now, <laughs> just still on that Mlamoa's vibe, yeah? Now, a controversial singer, Bahati, once again found himself in hot water after he posted a message trying to encourage Mlamoa not to quit comedy. Now, in the post, Bahati posted, and a quote, yeah, I'm going to quote, listen to me, bro, if you have a big vision, you must die to public opinion. On these trading street, streets, sijakosanga marat, <laughs> sijikosangi rather maratatu kwa wiki, and that's why I'm the biggest gangeton and gospel artist in Kenya. So come back. Netizens, however, disagreed with his statement and told him for the better part of the day. I don't. <laughs> Bahati is the biggest artist or no. Genge na gospel. No, I... Gengeton rather, Gengeton. Mm -hmm. you, see, you see the kick I was talking about now? Mm -hmm. Doi sasa. Angalo mdiyamba na siya na si mama ata ati anangonjia wakati mulamu ati 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 mulamu sasa meanza kuchoma koti. So now all of a sudden you want to say you're the biggest. We don't know you. Hatu kujui. For real. We don't know you. Well, when you are among the people who would rather listen to generators, wacha kusumbua watu wapa. At least you're the biggest uh, DD gangeton artist. How how does Bahati stand up and do that? You're singing mediocre things, and then you're saying that uh -uh, there's no need of doing that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Bahati is is a no. He's a no. <laughs> you're not the best. <laughs> you're not. He's not the best artist hey, in Kenya. Nah, pass. Next. No, come on. Next. Come on, let's do it. He's doing gospel uh, music. He's doing uh, iron collab now. So again, get turn when I go my fire in a heat, in a trend. What do you mean he's not the best? <laughs> he's the perfect description of a watermelon in the industry. Yeah. Yes. So you're not the best. Mm -hmm. You're just a watermelon. Wow. Wachia mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not sumbu up at you, gangeton, oh, gospel, kesho, oh. Yeah, no wonder Willie Paul is trolling you. But then, no wonder. It makes sense now. Come on, now you're Team Willie Paul? No, I'm not. Hold it, I'm not. Mm -hmm. But bad is a no. Bad is a no. the both of them is a no. Why would you say that? You gotta pick one. You have to pick a favorite. We play favorites always. No, no. He did a song with Bundooks. The song with Bundooks. The Bahati song with Bundooks. That, that, that one we can talk. Mm -hmm. That one we can talk. Anything else is a no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I told you we have uh, we have uh, other guys at at home. They're joining us. So JC, I don't know what she. What do you have to say about this, JC Mokare? Yes. Hi. Um. As, okay. I don't know why he may size in a trend. We are talking about him almost in every show. Ever since Alianza Kumba na was was regular, and I think as for him as a gospel artist, I look at least and I thought, okay, we are human beings, we are prone to temptations and stuff. But um, I think Anafa has set an example. It's it's you you'd rather be cold or hot. Akuna mambo ya kukuwa in between. You know, I don't know if you get my point. There is no need of being in between. You'd rather be. Hot or cold to do it, like just come out clear, boy. Dude, come out clear to me, like I'm doing this, I'm at this. Okay, and then, yeah. Mm, the other person, so, uh, but for me and in Bahati, I think we, we still have some more time to kind of some discuss. Uh, so, what can we save you in Guinea for? for next time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse though, I love you, Jesse. Wi-Fi, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry no, though. No. Sorry, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to MCK. MCK, I'm going to make our Wi-Fi quite strong. <laughs> MCK 
guy, what do you have to say? Bahati, is Bahati the biggest artist, um, the biggest gang an artist? Well, um, I think, I think I'm mimi in Tanzania, I'm an artist, but Saki will appear me in the biggest. <laughs> because, um, okay, uh, what I think he did, um, he also wanted to pass with the wave. Um, of late, he hasn't been wanting anything to go without being mentioned. And you know, Jokama Sai, uh, his show has been stopped in that station where Anakonga aired and all that. So he's just trying to stay relevant. And uh, I think Alikona Joki Guzeo topic na Kiandika Ivo, we will be talking about him the next day. So the guy is just, you know, looking for either positive or negative publicity to keep him relevant throughout, uh, throughout this um, hard period. Yeah, there's no show, there's no anything. So, yeah, the only people who can promote him. So, Alikona Joki, if he does that on Twitter, people are going to go for him on Twitter. And we are going to be talking about him in TV shows like right now. <laughs> so, you know, do, it, is, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, I cannot. Like, I cannot even believe like this is happening. Like, you guys have the worst things to say about these guys. You're supposed to be supportive. They know. You're supposed to support your very own. We only support what is real. Mm -hmm. What is there, what can be supported, we will support. Mm -hmm. Stop self proclaiming yourself. We uh, I'm going to see you. Eh? Yes, I'm going to see you. All right, and on that note, we're going to go over to the next story. Now, Utawezana challenge star Aziad Nasenya was earlier this week rumored to have rejected an offer to work in one of the biggest TV stations in Tanzania, where Safi claiming that the CEO, Damon Platinums, was a woman eater. However, in a post on her Twitter page, Nasenya rubbished claims calling them fake news. She also had it that uh, she also added, rather, that her advocates were working on the matter. So I don't know who's telling the truth. What is happening? So she's been trolled online. What was she saying? She was job with Safi. Oh, she was a madam. She was a madam. And then she comes and she's like, who said that? I never say that. Like, and she doesn't even know where the story is coming from. So she has like her advocates, like um, tracing whoever like broke the news and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know. Like. Why would people do that? What's your take on this story? You just become famous on TikTok. Two days later, you're just here throwing us uh, even advocates. Look at you. Why are you salty? Ah, I'm The first time I ever saw her ranting, she was talking about somebody giving out her number. I'm not surprised she was the same person who ranted about not getting a job at Wasafi. For the record, Wasafi is not Diamond. It's a very different entity. Diamond is the CEO. Diamond is a Jakuita because you met on Wasafi. Mm-hmm. Kama mekuita kuwe, katana, ukatalie uko. Wacha kutuambia hava. You're just famous on TikTok and then now you're just trying to make everything else. So you blow out of proportion. Advocates are gone. No, but I would be mad because she was being trolled. What you You think you're too big. Mbono ulikata job wa safi. You shouldn't. But why would people lie about her? I get where she's coming from because you don't just start a rumor like that. Unasema tia shanza kukata job. And then she was very, con like people are condemning her for timing down that job. But the thing is, there was never a job in the first place. Me feeling kitunajua and it's, it's very simple. There's nothing as a rumor in the internet. It's either it's created or it's a true thing. I'll talk to me about somebody. How do you sit in your house and start composing at oh as he had refused a song? No, but you've never you? had like you've never read fake news on the internet. There's, but bloggers do that all the there's, time. There's always a reason. Mm -hmm. What's the reason towards that? What story? if they don't like her? Even if you don't like somebody, there is always something people want to achieve. But in this case, nothing wants to be achieved to you. Nothing. What a kutusumbua. Sure. Mm -hmm. At yet the last time number. Sasa tena umekata kazi. Who no, but her number was being overshared <laughs> and she was like really mad because of that. No. Do you know she was contacted by thirteen thousand people? What are you talking about? Oh. Just one day later. So imagine right now how her phone is blowing up. Uh, uh, she should now bring out the story correctly. Juzi ya kakuza katambia suji 17,000. Next thing, 13. Onde mkuna kitu? Okay, I understand. It's Kiki. And it's good. She's learning from the best. She's learning how to play around with the Kikis. But, I manze, wacha kustup solo. Sa zingine Kiki zingine zina kumekia sifa. You already being associated with the Diamond. That is enough. Kama ni Kiki uliko natafuta. Wacha kutusumbua hapa. Yeah. Okay. Azad, please. Save us this trouble. Uh -huh. Tumekuona ukitoa na ukifanya vitu zingine let us be tumetosheka na hiyo 
Wacha kuturushia vitu zingine. Hey, yes. Unasonka mzazi sasa. What is happening? Why? 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 You're salty. Like, umejama. Like, okay, to me, I don't think she did anything wrong. If you ask me, I think she's just like trying to like get her own, get paid. But she was never offered a job. So please, stop spreading rumors. Stop spreading fake news. Don't do that. We are in curfew. We are broke. We need money. You'll be given a job. Take the job and go with it. Hi, right. that is you, that is you, but we have the other guys at home. Let's hear f from them because I know they're very opinionated. Where I don't know why you're mad nowadays. I'm gonna start with MCK oh. this time round. <laughs> I'm gonna say, Will you take over or you have fully a Makasirico signed on Gatuna MCK? MCK, yeah, bro. What do you have to say about this? <laughs> well, um, this is what I'd say. Yeah? Uh -huh. I think, I think, I think, uh, let me let me talk in two in two days. Eh? Sometimes when you get fame drastically, yeah, you might go somewhere, um, find yourself fumbling on words. Because, you know, when you're getting all that attention and everything, you might find yourself speaking or saying something that you shouldn't be saying. So my advice, uh, the first advice is start keeping the three are close. Was in my best desire when you because she's been doing uh, the acting thing and everything. Obviously, Anajua was say once they come from the PR, her PR team, on from the when you are interviews, place your out to the public. As good one are poor, cut one on is if she say that. And if I once I come to Kenya, to pitch you into how you should be talking in everything. And for most of us who have been there, any claim for that? Why are you guys like this? Why are you guys like this? <laughs> I thought you were on my side. Hey, hey, hey. But girl power. JC, girl power, yeah? <laughs> JC. Yeah. So, like, what do you have to say about this story? Uda, when you are a job, you are a job. Tell you something. First of all, I want to support MCK. I know Deno has been a big hater. Wake, kwanini since day one. I don't know why, but one thing, one thing I know is that once we get to showbiz, you need to leave some things behind. Unona like you can't just go somewhere and start saying sijui oh blah blah blah. Like everything you do, literally everything you do, people are always on your case. Simnelewa, like when in town, people are on, on your case. Mpaka kia tuwe nyo umeva. As I know, as right? Vumbi, na mwenye, eh, and the person who is criticizing you, ako na vumbi. But I expect, ako, ikuwe na vumbi. Sawa, <laughs> JC. Go next story because of time, right? Now, working from home does not always go as planned. And he, a hilarious video has proved that. A man in a conference meeting embarrassed himself after thinking that he had turned off his camera after the meeting ended. He later adjusted his underwear and started walking in his room as his colleagues watched dying of laughter. One of his colleagues later called him and he was so shocked that he ran away. I'm going to start with you. Actually, I mean, before even that, let me let me show you guys the video. Yeah, we have a video, so just have a look for yourself, and have to, we have to come back. <laughs> Jen called him. Working from home is hard. Trust me. Like, trust me. You can see from the video. Monkeys. <laughs> like, <laughs> guy, I've seen, I've seen this firsthand. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I've seen this firsthand. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm also doing some. I was doing something uh, with some corporate. Yeah. And but, but then I say, come on, Fanya, guys, in Yumbani, Tafalali. 
it's very important wear your full clothing attire manze watu wanatoka na maboxer shorts <laughs> <laughs> I'm a shirt, I'm a tie, and I'm a tie. Yeah. All of a sudden, you tell the guy to stand up for, or, or just uh, think. I'm saying I'm in a funny kitu. I look like where? I'm saying where in your shorts? Mm-hmm. He's like I'm working from home, so it's a thing. But this guy was just did it. Ali funny sasa extra. Yeah, actually, this guy. We just couldn't show you guys, but Alianza na you know Alianza na. Kutakin. <laughs> he, he was technically now in his space. I know. Like I just like at the freedom of and the comfort of your house. I love you. The people who are watching it is very creepy. And there's actually someone. Do you know there was someone who they were in a conference room like this. Yaka toka na mic. Alisa how? And then went to the washroom. So you guys can imagine the guys in the conference room. Walisikia nini? But I'm scared. Muda. I'm sick. Hey. hey. <laughs> hey sorry. Yani kumbusha to your high school eh? Uh-huh. Your high school tulikuwa tunashaka call up. Uko na kata shati hapa kwa mabega na hapa. Alafu unaosha unaosha call up. So, yani umevaa kola na kama toka hivi alafu unavaa unavaa sweta kutoka juu. So no you knew what you were wearing when I So this guy alikuwa ndio na video. Ameva t-shirt kuna chini wewe ziona juu na meza ya. So this goes to show because most of us are not used to be working from home eh so just to be safe man say just wear your own because you never know where your angles are you never know how your camera is taking you hata mimi naogopa camera zangu na chini na naona maji yangu yes ah maliza kucheka like maliza kucheka we can see we just have that. <laughs> Oh, oh. Okay, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. <laughs> What are you thinking? <laughs> I was telling him CK, uh, that we are going to swim here when you wetu atuwezi tikia kusimama from where we are, you know. You can't even dare change your position, you know. <laughs> Working from home is not easy by the way. You you have to perfect like literally everything that you're doing. Like mpaka uangalie hapo ni kuna realizing guy si pangu zangi wall you know like it's ama mende ipite hapo nyuma exactly 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 ala fujwe sasa tero ako studio ah they know and as a troll yeah bye i think and right Like everybody has these problems. Like okay, not always, but Monday is ukuja tu. Utaika dawa ziende after sijui while tena zikuja, zikufa, zirudi. Like MCK, panali si mama. Saa hii. Okay, so on to the next story. The hashtag is why tfa for updates. Now Retired footballer Dennis Oliech is now allegedly being accused of being a thief after he was caught stealing a TV belonging to his neighbor in Kahawa Wendani Greenview Apartments. It is said that the footballer was caught in action and beaten to a pulp off before being handed over to the police allegedly the neighbors have been losing their items and always suspected him because he is broke now i don't even know what to do or what to say about this story but it is very 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 sad like he's a legend this, what is happening dennis there's a statement you have used yeah they always suspected him because he was broke mm-hmm. really I know, right? Really? Like I don't even understand. Like because he's broke now he's a thief. I know. As, as, being broke in this country is a crime. But we're all broke. You stay in an apartment like that <laughs> which I'm, I'm not really sure how it is but but just going by the name mm-hmm. Greenville Apartments I would say it's somewhere. So the apartment is on a level of flani. So oh, yeah. so it's fancy? I don't know I, 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 Okay, I don't know the place. Yeah. But yeah, I would I would I would think people who are there complaining and calling cops on him, mm-hmm. they're not just your average Kenyan. Yeah. Because kawaida you still you're beaten and there's no cops. So you yeah. find that there's cops involved you can tell. So just the fact that he's broke does not guarantee that he's a thief and because this story is alleged Please. It's yeah it's a legend it's not confirmed whether it's true it's or not, not. but him. if it's true like I, I'm I, I'm short of words like I don't know what to say I'm going to go to JC and MCK hear what they have to say JC I'm going to start with you this time round isn't that sad 
is it's sad uh the fact that uh he was the kind he was like an icon when we were growing up if you'd remember especially in our time the boys who used to play ile futaya pepa do you guys remember ile futaya pepa yeah. yeah you remember like everyone kuna watu wadi walikuwa wanachukuanga namba ya oliech you, you remember watu wakichukua namba siku uh-huh. mark for field even i remember one time i think he was uh, the captain wa team ya kenya or goro or something i don't remember very well yeah. but he was yeah, he used to play for goro coming back i don't know what happened it's so sad that you know he still not just kuzachukuliwa aka coach a team here I know it's very very what's happening but MCK MCK maze buda history ni sad ajani MCK can you hear me uh, all right i don't know if MCK can hear me if not we're going to go to the next story Mhm. All right, MCK is not talking. <laughs> I'll come back to you for the next story. <laughs> All right, I told you guys, working from home is hard, like hell hard. You can see what I'm talking about, right? Now the hashtag is wait for updates. Now a controversial Nairobi governor Mike Sonko has once again sparked mixed reactions on social media with his plans to distribute alcohol as part of food packs for poor families who are missing work because of corona pandemic. He made the announcement at a media briefing on Tuesday and has been trending on social media for saying he had small bottles of Hennessy in the food packs that will be giving what well, that he will be giving to our people. However, Hennessy and World Health Organization have both rubbished claims that the alcohol brand protects from the COVID-19 pandemic. Actually, we have a video, so we're going to have to watch the video then come back to talk about it. Uh, plays a very, a very major role in of Hennessy in the the food pack, uh, the package which we give to to, to our people. Uh, I think from the research uh, which has been conducted by the World Health Organization and various health organizations, it has been revealed that uh, uh, alcohol uh, plays a, ve- a very major role in killing uh, the coronavirus or any sort of uh, virus. If you see, you, you take any sanitizer and you check the alcoholic content, you'll find out they give it. All right. Our governor, the governor of Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> Some go along. Yes, this one they are calling. Wait, wait, wait. What what is wrong with the governor though? Like, okay, first of all, I would love to clarify something. Yeah. The alcohol percentage you need on your sanitizer has to be at least 60% or 70%. Yes, that is the alcoholic pers- uh, percentage or content needed in the ha- hand sanitizer. <laughs> But the one that is being given away it's like around 40% i think so that is not that is not recommended for you know the corona virus treatment like uh, protecting yourself from uh, the virus that that alcoholic percentage is not enough for just sanitizing your hands and no alcohol is not a treatment for the covid-19 you cannot use alcohol to treat yourself but <laughs> that said dennis this is my opinion <laughs> Sonko <laughs> is doing what he can best. The percentage is? 40%. And the recommended is? Uh, 70%. He's meeting the people halfway through. He's doing something good. Okay. Sonko, and the good thing... Uh, can you please stop saying that? Stop misleading Kenya. It is please. my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I said. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, it's it's good that Sonko is giving out food. I I really love the fact that he's always being that guy who comes up uh, out for people and uh, is, is helping people where they need him most. But uh, at this point, um, putting alcohol and mm. precisely Hennessy, hey, I'm saying, uh, you know, the price of that Hennessy itself 
would would have done something better to that packet of unga or that packet of that kagunia you're giving that mama in the streets or back at home it would have been better if you would have had more shopping yeah for chana na hennessy atinena hennessy tafadhali ongeza shopping ongeza shopping if you really want to help the community at this point food is vital yeah food is important people need food but it's a good gesture uh, he would, he's better than the, uh, he's better than he's better than someone yeah. who's not doing anything yeah, right he's doing better all right so uh, <laughs> especially because of time and the internet is like really slow so i'm just going to go to jc and mck i want them to just say goodbye their last words and then we're going to wrap up mck and jc um I, i think i think he's doing a good thing Uh, the, the only problem is that uh, we are now officially a drinking nation. <laughs> Every household is going to be a drinking nation. I'm just pitying all our donation houses as well because if you've never seen your parent drunk, eh, it's going to be <laughs> there are apparently like four <laughs> bottles of Hennessy. <laughs> so it's going to be tricky kidogo but uh, anyway, when I am saying my Japana changa it's Hennessy man. Koluos bwana, you are giving out Hennessy bwana. So um, if it's if it's helping if it's if it's if it's helping <laughs> if it's helping here yeah, it's good so but uh, I join you guys in saying on get the food on get the more food as much as he's also giving out the hennessies on get the more food the watu wakikunyo pombe bana wasile mewe but he's doing See, see Mjaka, but I understand because of henny because henny is very expensive all right Jesse <laughs> Uh -huh. I saw uh -huh. that he was trending even uh kwa New York Times. You guys saw that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, like uh I think it's a good gesture. Uh the fact that Akuna we've not seen any other governor as per se doing such and coming out. Hata kama wanafanya mimi wanafanya chini ya maji, you get. But what I think he should add more food. Uh especially the fact that uh County of Nairobi where he's the governor There are so many urban suburb areas you know like uh, the the ones that we normally call ghetto and stuff so he needs to he needs to up up his game of food kiasi and it's okay he's giving people he's not giving people cheap liquor yeah or i hope you've noticed that mm -hmm. he never he never gave out cheap liquor mhm mm Jesse is impressed by the brand. Brand ya Fobe. You know me impress Jesse. Okay, we see ya. We see you. Thank you so much MCK and Jesse. But I'm going to take um uh, Mwangis. The Mwangis. Uh, 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 That's a very long one to say. Dennis is last room. <laughs> last room says we are here. Let's take yeah. the Mwangis. 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 <laughs> yes. Um <coughs> I would like to say this uh, in the, in the wake of the pandemic and uh, what we're going through please stay safe follow government directives and uh, I need to clarify something yeah. about about what is really going on there yeah. is those there, there was some chatter about the fact that the churches are closing down mm -hmm. and everything what I need to tell people out there the church has not closed down the church has come to your homes it is in now in your home you know the church pray for the country Let us pray let us lead this nation where it should be and then we're going to make through this to just avoid preach brother preach we always overcome you preach. know yeah yeah you know me do so na go ile ile mshiko ana lazima toa umeguswa mahai so mahai yes I, i go by the name dennis but mine across all social media platforms Manze, follow me follow me follow me i'll be very happy thank you so much for those of you watching nashukuru kabisa That's what's <laughs> up. All right, now a big shout out to Jesse and MCK. Do follow them, yes? At MCK official, official with a double L. Make sure you do follow him on all his uh, socials. I love Jesse at Jesse Mogore. Yes, on Facebook and um, Instagram. I love at uh, Mogore, Mogore Mreshol. Yes. Make sure you do follow them. And then next week we're going to try make sure you have better Wi-Fi so that we see you know so we're going to 
make sure it gets better. Snail. MCK, MCK, mm -hmm. shows your whole crew. We know you. Yes. It shows your whole crew. Like a Jane Lawrence. But thank you so much. I told you, Stoner, you must have watched Village in a car. You couldn't But shout out to everybody who made the show possible. Thank you so much, Maurice, right here. He's on the cameras. We have Timo Pale the, uh, directing. We have Rose Pale programming. We have uh, Frank, uh, he's right here. Thank you so much, Frank. Oh, yes, Rose on Sound. Thank you so much, each and every one of you guys, for watching the show. We're going to see you again uh, next week with an even better show. But Rock Tour, if you've never watched Rock Tour, if you love rock music, make sure you join me on this Saturday from 5 p.m. all the way to 7.30 p.m. It's been fun. We're going to do this again next week. Good night, and uh, just have a wonderful night. Stay safe, sanitize, and wash your hands.